Welcome, dear traveler, to Florence, the cradle of the Renaissance. Together, we shall embark on an unforgettable journey through time, retracing the footsteps of the great artists, architects, and thinkers who transformed this magnificent city into the epicenter of culture and innovation. As we walk the ancient streets and piazzas, we shall unveil the history, the stories, and the spirit of the Renaissance that continues to resonate within the city's very essence. Our journey commences at the bustling Piazza della Repubblica, once the site of the Roman Forum and later the city's medieval market. Take a moment to absorb the vibrant atmosphere, as the echoes of the past merge with the lively hum of present-day Florence. A short stroll away, we find the octagonal baptistry of San Giovanni, one of the oldest buildings in Florence, predating the Renaissance. Admire the stunning bronze doors, dubbed the Gates of Paradise by Michelangelo. These masterpieces, created by Lorenzo Ghiberti, illustrate scenes from the Old Testament and represent a turning point in the artistic language of the Renaissance. As we continue our journey, the awe-inspiring Cathedral of Santa Maria del Fiore, or the Duomo, comes into view. This architectural marvel, with its magnificent dome designed by Filippo Brunelleschi, stands as a symbol of human ingenuity and the innovative spirit of the Renaissance. As we marvel at the Duomo, our gaze is drawn to the adjacent Giotto's Campanile, a magnificent bell tower designed by the renowned painter and architect Giotto di Bondone. Its intricate marble reliefs and statues embody the spirit of the early Renaissance, showcasing the fusion of artistic expression and architectural innovation. As we amble through the bustling streets, we stumble upon a lively open-air art market. Here, contemporary artists display their works, drawing inspiration from the masters of the past. We pause to watch a street artist skillfully recreate Botticelli's The Birth of Venus on a large canvas, his swift brushstrokes capturing the essence of the original masterpiece. Continuing our exploration, we arrive at the Palazzo Medici Riccardi, the stately residence of the powerful Medici family. As patrons of the arts, the Medici played a pivotal role in the development of the Renaissance, supporting the careers of legendary artists like Leonardo da Vinci and Michelangelo. Adjacent to the palace lies the Basilica of San Lorenzo, a church commissioned by the Medici and designed by the great architect Brunelleschi. We venture inside to discover the serene beauty of the Medici chapels, where the family's elaborate tombs serve as a testament to their enduring influence on the city's cultural landscape. Our journey leads us to the vibrant Piazza della Signoria, the political heart of Florence, where the imposing Palazzo Vecchio stands tall. As we wander through the square, we encounter an unexpected surprise, a lively Renaissance fair, teeming with performers, musicians, and artisans showcasing their crafts. Immerse yourself in the spirited atmosphere, as we watch skilled artisans recreate traditional Florentine crafts, from intricate goldsmithing to the delicate art of fresco painting. Dancers in period costumes whirl around the square, while musicians perform lively tunes on lutes and flutes, transporting us back in time. Adjacent to the piazza, the Loggia dei Lanzi serves as an open-air sculpture gallery, displaying exquisite works from the Renaissance era. Among the masterpieces, we admire Benvenuto Cellini's bronze statue of Perseus holding the severed head of Medusa, a testament to the technical mastery and creative vision of the Florentine artists. A stone's throw away, we find the renowned Uffizi Gallery, one of the world's most prestigious art museums, housing an unrivaled collection of Renaissance masterpieces. As we wander through the gallery's hallowed halls, we are captivated by the works of Botticelli, Michelangelo, and Leonardo da Vinci, each piece offering a glimpse into the creative genius that defined the Renaissance. Leaving the Uffizi behind, we make our way to the picturesque Ponte Vecchio, Florence's oldest bridge spanning the Arno River. Once lined with butcher shops, the bridge is now home to a dazzling array of goldsmiths and jewelers. As we stroll across, we marvel at the glittering treasures on display, reflecting the city's rich artistic heritage. 
As we meander through the narrow cobblestone streets, we happen upon a group of actors in period costumes rehearsing for an upcoming performance of The Prince, a play based on the life and works of Niccolò Machiavelli, the famed Florentine philosopher and political theorist. We pause to watch the captivating scene unfold, the actors' passionate portrayals giving us a glimpse into the intrigues and power struggles of Renaissance Florence. Our next stop is the Church of Santa Croce, the largest Franciscan church in the world and the final resting place of many prominent Florentines, including Michelangelo, Galileo, and Machiavelli. We take a moment to pay our respects to these illustrious figures, reflecting on their immeasurable contributions to the worlds of art, science, and politics. As twilight descends upon the city, we are drawn to the enchanting sounds of a Renaissance music concert taking place in a nearby piazza. Surrounded by the warm glow of candlelight, we lose ourselves in the haunting melodies and intricate harmonies, a fitting finale to our unforgettable journey through the streets of Florence. Our exploration continues as we visit the Palazzo d'Avanzati, a beautifully preserved 14th-century residence that offers a glimpse into the daily life of a wealthy Florentine family. As we wander through the rooms adorned with frescoes and period furniture, we gain a deeper appreciation for the city's rich domestic history and artistic traditions. Winding our way through Florence's labyrinthine streets, we stumble upon a hidden gem, a tranquil courtyard tucked away behind an unassuming doorway. A local artist has transformed this secret oasis into an impromptu gallery, displaying his vibrant paintings inspired by the city's history and architecture. We pause to admire his work, savoring this serendipitous encounter with Florence's enduring artistic spirit. Ascending the hill to the Basilica di San Miniato al Monte, we are rewarded with breathtaking views of Florence's skyline. This Romanesque church, adorned with intricate mosaics, is a stunning example of the city's early architectural prowess. As we explore the serene interior, we are struck by the tranquility and spiritual beauty that permeate the space. Our journey takes an unexpected gastronomic turn as we join a Renaissance-themed banquet held in a historic palazzo. We are welcomed by our hosts, dressed in lavish period attire, and indulge in a sumptuous feast inspired by the flavors and culinary traditions of 15th-century Florence. Surrounded by the laughter and music of our fellow revelers, we immerse ourselves in the tastes and textures of the city's rich culinary heritage. Our next destination is the renowned Academia Gallery, home to one of the most iconic sculptures in the world, Michelangelo's David. As we stand before this towering masterpiece, we are struck by its sublime beauty and the sheer mastery of its creator. The gallery also houses a collection of Michelangelo's unfinished works, offering a rare insight into the artist's creative process. As we meander through the city's vibrant streets, we come across a colorful mural depicting the Renaissance masters at work, a modern homage to Florence's illustrious past. A crowd gathers to watch the artist, a talented young woman, as she skillfully adds the final touches to her masterpiece. We join the onlookers, captivated by this contemporary tribute to the city's enduring artistic legacy. Our journey leads us to the sprawling Baboli Gardens, an enchanting green oasis that served as the pleasure grounds for the Medici family. As we wander along the manicured paths, we discover hidden grottos, tranquil ponds, and exquisite sculptures that evoke the splendor and opulence of the Renaissance. As the sun begins to set, we are treated to an unexpected delight, an open-air performance of La Commedia dell'Arte, a traditional form of Italian theater. The energetic actors, donning colorful masks and costumes, bring the timeless tales of love, deception, and adventure to life, their lively performance capturing the essence of Renaissance entertainment. Our tour brings us to the Laurentian Library, a remarkable institution commissioned by the Medici family to house their vast collection of manuscripts and books. Designed by Michelangelo, the library is a masterpiece of architectural innovation. We are awestruck by the grand reading room, with its soaring columns and intricate coffered ceiling, a testament to the Medici's commitment to the advancement of knowledge. 
Stepping into the narrow streets of the medieval quarter, we visit the Casa di Dante, the birthplace of Dante Alighieri, the father of the Italian language and author of the Divine Comedy. As we explore the museum dedicated to his life and works, we are transported back to 13th century Florence, immersing ourselves in the world that inspired one of history's greatest literary figures. We continue our exploration of Florence's rich history at the Ospedale degli Innocenti, an early orphanage and hospital designed by Brunelleschi. This pioneering institution, with its elegant loggia and harmonious proportions, reflects the humanistic values of the Renaissance and the city's commitment to the welfare of its citizens. As our journey draws to a close, we are invited to an exclusive masquerade ball held in a historic palazzo. Surrounded by the splendor of frescoed walls and glittering chandeliers, we dance the night away with fellow revelers, our elaborate masks and costumes evoking the glamour and intrigue of Renaissance Florence. On our final day in Florence, we rise early to witness the sun rising over the majestic Duomo. As the first light of dawn illuminates the cathedral's intricate marble facade, we are reminded of the incredible craftsmanship and ingenuity that have shaped this city for centuries. As we bid farewell to the enchanting streets, piazzas, and monuments that have captivated our hearts and minds, we cannot help but feel a deep connection to the spirit of the Renaissance that continues to permeate every corner of Florence. The city's enduring commitment to the arts, sciences, and humanistic ideals has left an indelible impression on us, enriching our understanding of the past and inspiring us to embrace the pursuit of knowledge and beauty in our own lives. Our journey through Florence has been a journey through time, a voyage into the heart of the Renaissance and the remarkable individuals who shaped this extraordinary epoch. From the masterful works of art that grace the city's walls and galleries to the innovative architectural marvels that defy the imagination, Florence stands as a testament to the power of human creativity and the enduring allure of its legacy. As we depart from the city that has captured our hearts and minds, we carry with us the memories of our unforgettable journey and the lessons of the Renaissance, ready to embark on new adventures and embrace the wonders that await us. Arrivederci, Florence.